Hello everyone, once again, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This time our topic is Plus of Logarithm. But first of all, if you haven't subscribed in our channel, please do subscribe first before watching and click the notification bell in order for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. And this video is not designed for classroom setup or in online class setup. So please do not use this as your instructional materials. Okay, let's start. Laws of logarithm. Since this is a new topic for our grade 11, let us first discuss on how to read logarithm. Let's say we have y is equal to log of x base 2. So there are two ways to read logarithm. The first one is this function can be read as y equals log x base 2. Okay, let us repeat. y equals log x base 2. Or it can be written as y equals the log 2 of x. Again, let us repeat the second one. y equals the log 2 of x. Where 2 here is our base. Okay. Those are the two ways on how to read logarithm. Now, let us find out our loss of logarithm. In this case, we have our condition, uh, loss of logarithm. Let b be a positive number not equal to 1. So we have a restricted value, which is 1. Let x and y be any positive number and n be any real number. If this is our condition, we have three rules in our logarithm. Then, the first law is log xy base b is equal to log x base b plus log y base b. So this is in multiplication. Then in order for us to expand, we're going to use the addition. Okay, that is our first law. Our second law is log x over y base b that is equal to log x base b minus log y base b. See the relationship? In number two, we have a division. Then to expand, we use subtraction. Okay, that is our first and second law. And the third law, log x raised to n base b expand that is n log x base b so notice that if we have our exponent then just put it in front of our log then just copy x base b so those are the three laws of logarithm in order for you to better understand our laws of logarithm Let's have the following exercises. Use the laws of logarithm to expand the following. Number one, log 5x. This is, what, this is what we call the common logarithm. Notice that uh, in this case, we don't have or we did not write our base because this is a common logarithm that is understood. We have 10 here. Okay? But in our rule, since that is a common logarithm, it's okay not to write our base. But that is understood, our base is 10. Number two, 
Number two, log 7 over x, base 5. So we have base. Number three, log x squared y. So this is also a common logarithm. We have a base of 10 here. And number four, log x squared y over z squared base 3. Let us use our first, second, and third laws of logarithm. Let's try number 1. So log 5x. That is our, uh, this is under our law number 1. So which is equal to, this is multiplication. So we have log 5, multiplication, so we use plus log x. This is now our expanded form. Again, this is a common logarithm, understood that we have a base of 10 here and also in our next term. Okay, next log of 7 over x base of 5 7 over x written in fraction form so which law are we going to use 1 2 or 3 we're going to use number 2 so that is equal to log 7 base 5 plus log x base 5. So we have base 5 here. Oh, sorry. This is division. So we're going to use minus sign. Okay, minus. Be careful in your sign. Next, number 3 log x squared y so which law are we going to use one two or three so we have exponent so we're going to use law number three so that is equal to uh, first we have x squared y it also falls under our law number one multiplication so let us first expand. This is equal to log x squared plus log y. And by using our third law, x squared, we can still simplify this. So we have, for our final answer, we have the exponent which is 2, then copy log x plus just copy log y. So this will be our final answer. If you want to try number 4, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answer. Let's try number four. Examine the given log x squared y over z squared base 3. So we have a fraction form. So we're going to expand through using our law number 2. So we have log x squared y base 3 minus log z squared. Okay. Next, we have exponent and we have x squared y here. We can apply our law number 1 
in our first expression, log x squared y base 3. So we can still write this as log x squared base 3 plus log y base 3. Then copy minus log z squared. So we have base 3 here, base 3, base 3. Then simplify using our law number 3 since we have exponents. So our final answer would be our exponent is 2 log x base 3 plus, since we don't have exponent here, so we're just going to copy y uh, log y base 3 minus log, uh, we have the exponent, 2 log z base 3. So, this will be our final answer. It's expanded form. That is on how to apply the laws of logarithm. What if the direction will give you write the expanded form into single form? So the reverse process. Let's say we have the following examples. Write in single form. So number one, log two base z plus log x base z. Number two, log quantity three x plus four minus log x. Number two, two log x plus log quantity x plus 4 and number 4 5 log y base 3 minus 2 log x base 3 plus 3 log z base 3 okay what if this will be our exercises so what are we going to do Recall the laws of logarithm, then study the given problems. Just like in number one. The given is the expanded form. So we're going to write into single form. So we have the log. Just copy our base, which is z. Then since this is addition, we're going to use the law number one. So just combine 2x. Okay. Number two, common logarithm. Understood that we have a base of 10 here. So just copy log. We have a minus sign. So we're going to use rule number or the law number two. So we have. 3x plus 4 over x. Okay. This will be our answer. And in number 2, notice that we have a number before our log. This indicates our exponent. So copy log. So we have x. We have 2 here, so that will become our exponent. It will become x squared. And we have log x plus 4. So quantity x plus 4. This will be our final answer. And notice number 4. We have 5 log y base 3. To write this, this will become log 
y raised to 5 base 3 minus this can be written as log x we have a number which is 2 squared base 3 plus log z cube base 3 okay now we have a minus and a plus sign so let's apply our law number 1 and law number 2 we have minus log x squared base 3 here so this will be our denominator by looking on our law number 2 so we have log base 3 so our numerator will be y raised to 5 and we have plus here so z cube over x squared our denominator is x squared because we have a minus sign here okay that is uh, this will be our final answer now okay that's the laws of logarithm Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share this video to your classmates. Once again, don't forget to subscribe.